Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like this guy in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm Dean Perrine, um, EVP at JSA, and we are coming to you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, there, are there better places to do this? Uh, I can't think of any. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I? Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC 2025, and I'm here with Mr. Rod Hansen. Rod is the CEO of Cityside Fiber. Rod, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate it. You I'm bet. Happy to be here. Uh, I, I, I am too. It's yeah. two degrees in Chicago right now. Oh, there you go. So where are you from, Rod? <laughs> uh, Southern California. Okay. It's so... not two degrees in Southern California, <laughs> fortunately. But yeah. Right. So, Rod, let's go ahead and jump in uh, to some of the questions. Uh, with the increasing demand for high-speed internet, how does Cityside Fiber address the challenges like scalability and infrastructure deployment in urban environments? I love this question. Yeah. So, I think for us, we, we uh, are primarily building out in in more suburban developments, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, very dense suburban developments yeah. throughout Southern California. And so we look at it uh, as a partnership with the city. We mm -hmm. start there, uh, walk through uh, what our build standards are, what we need to do mm -hmm. to be able to be successful and work with the city to be able to make that happen. One of those things is uh, we, we get the city's um, street resurfacing schedules uh -huh. and we coordinate our efforts along with that so that the city comes in after the fact and is able to do their street resurfacing uh, after we've deployed our, our fiber there. So I'm going to go off script just a little bit because immediately yeah. I'm thinking you're working yeah, like a, a technology company, um, yeah, but also there's, there's got to be a lot of a, a bit of political things happening oh, yeah. uh, with, yeah. with the city, well, especially right. California. So. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine so. So talk to, talk to us a little bit about how you kind of um, work with these cities to kind of circumvent some of the challenges that maybe some of the others have. It's primarily just uh, being open and, and honest and upfront with them. And, and That's schedule, shocking. I know, right? <laughs> schedule, we schedule meetings early on yeah. with, with the public works department, yeah. usually the city manager and the elected officials to, so that they understand what it is we're trying to do and why mm -hmm. it benefits their city. Um, and then we walk them through our process. And then uh, we have a, a dialogue back and forth to come up with a plan mm -hmm. that makes sense for both the city and for us as well. So. Why does that sound innovative to me? <laughs> I know. It shouldn't be. You wouldn't think. It, it, it really has... Uh, it's, it's been a really positive uh, step for us. It's allowed us to build in areas that would have been very difficult to build if we didn't do that. So. Outstanding, Rod. Thank you very much. Speaking of innovation, uh, what innovative approaches is Cityside uh, taking to balance rapid deployment with sustainable practices? Yeah, I think the sustainability when it comes to what we're doing, I think mm -hmm. fiber in and, of, in and of itself is a very sustainable mm -hmm. um, product in, yeah. that, in that it's, it's a, it takes far less energy than other types of of um, broadband, right? Mm -hmm. So anytime mm -hmm. you're using copper wires and whatnot, there's a lot more um, electricity that goes into that. And so mm -hmm. fiber by itself tends to be a much more um, efficient and sustainable technology. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, really, it's again, working with the cities. Uh, state, state of California has uh, quite a bit of regulation around uh, in, they do. I know, <laughs> environmental. And so obviously we have to to um, yeah. abide by those things as well. So, yeah. Uh, of course. And nobody exca uh, escapes uh, JSA TV without talking about AI. AI. And, and yeah. we're going to, and we're going to, so uh, let's talk about City Sides play in AI. Yeah, I think we're, we're, uh, we're kind of more the, um, the, the, I would say the highway, mm -hmm. that's, that, mm -hmm. that really mm -hmm. a super highway yeah. to be able to uh, enable AI. So, you know, in, in order to be able to do a lot of these functions, it yeah. requires a lot of bandwidth very low latency and which is what fiber provides. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. I think a lot of people forget that AI isn't this kind of uh, mysterious thing that just kind of appears and, and tells you how to do things you might not have been able to do before, but rather there's a, a, you know, there's an infinite number of piece parts that go into actually right. bringing AI to fruition. All of the great benefits that we talk about with regard to AI, they don't happen unless you happen. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good because I don't know a whole lot about AI, but I know, I know it's good for us. <laughs> yeah. So. No, Rod, I, I respect your sincerity a great deal, my friend. And thank you so much for being with us on JSA TV. All right. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate you bet. It. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Um, stay happy and healthy and stay connected and happy networking. We'll see you soon.